well today. Uh, it is uh, very end of February. Wind has really kicked up a lot. Very end of the day. I'm going to try to go get some feed on my bees. Uh, I've given them a lot of room up top because the bottom brood box is so full. Uh, and uh, I've got a frame feeder up top, so need to get some more feed on them. I'm doing two to one uh, mix on the sugar water for now. Uh, just do two two thirds of it as uh, as sugar, and the rest of it as water. That's a uh, two to one mix. So we're gonna put that on the bees today. Stay with me. Okay, we're out here with little girls. They are. Uh, it's a little bit under 70 degrees. Wind is really howling off the lake right now. It's not a great time to do this, but I got to get in here and do it uh, before get to evening time. I'm going to let them know I'm coming. I see some nectar on them right now. I'm really not going to get down in that bottom box. I'm going to try to stay up top. The bottom is really full of bees, but uh, I've been trying to move some honey up. They're almost a little bit honey bound for a little while there. And what I'm trying to do is just go in here and make sure they have plenty of feed in this top all right here we go so you can see right here got a lot of bees up top here they are in need of of some some sugar water so that's what we're going to do i'm going to try to smoke them where they kind of come out of this a little bit i'm not trying to hurt them at all all it's doing is kind of confusing and covering the pheromones so they don't get all upset at me now i'd love to while they're kind of clearing out i don't want to pour that on top of them until they kind of come out of here just a little bit i love when they come out of this side come on girls come on out of there while i'm doing that i am going to take a peek or two at what i see going on here uh one two three four five six seven eight frames and this frame's just wide so can't get 10 in there anyway but I'm gonna look here and see what's going on. This is this should be honey that I moved up. All right, yeah. This whole thing is honey here. A pre-frame of it, so um, it's heavy, good and heavy. But I, there were some open cells on this side, so I just left them like that. Um, come here and look real quick, see if they're doing anything else. This one was honey as well. They're continuing to use that real pretty i'm gonna push these to the outside here those frames don't look great but this one right here is another frame that they got plenty of room in them oh there's a roach is that a roach yeah get out there roach that's the first time i've seen a roach in there but okay and then there's a lot more of this there's just some extra room for them to be able to build out good heavily coated frames in the middle I got pollen patties down here on the on the bottom on the brood box there's not much on this one you can tell they're starting to get a little bit on the bottom so that's good interesting to see a roach in there I'm not sure why it surprises me but and then I got a little bit more room here. I just, the bottom is so full, needed to do something with it so they don't swarm, just give them some room. And then this outside one's got some nectar uh, on it, good bit of nectar on it that they've been holding. A little bit lighter than it was though. But you can see the nectar down in there. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get out of this wind and I wanna just kinda shift this whole thing shift it over a little bit this way okay all right B should be good all right I'm about to fill that my right, girls one last chance come out of there I need you to come out of there before I fill you with sugar water because you don't swim well okay this is uh, two to one sugar water got a little bit of honeybee healthy in it I'm gonna try to do this off to the side so I don't get any bees maybe they'll rise with the tide let's just hope 
they don't swim real well but there is a ladder system in this thing i just i want to put this in here because i'm not going to be back in this for several days and maybe about four days four or five days from now which is a good time to check it all anyway but i'm just filling this whole thing up making sure they got plenty of sugar water and they do now and then hopefully we can fish anything out that needs to be fished out but all right that should get our bees you can see them over here they're really going to town i'm not gonna get down in this brood box it's too windy bees are coming in out front still just coming in from foraging they're not messing with me at all uh, but they're definitely coming up and getting this feed uh, a lot of brood production going on right now uh, i'm gonna take this top set it back on here nice and easy all right girls a couple of bees up here you can see a little pollen and some other things on them so all right let's take the lid put that lid back on and these girls are buttoned back up everything looks really good okay well these little girls are doing great just wanted to jump in and give them some feed real quick i gave them two to one uh it's early in um, well it's just about to turn to march it's very end of february so that two to one is going to help them just get everything that they need in order to uh, just keep up with the brew production with the queen got a lot of pollen coming in uh, they're trying to make a lot of comb right now so they're doing a great job i got the feed in and out and uh, just get out of this wind a little bit probably won't see a ton of activity see some of them coming in they got some pollen on them but the numbers aren't out like crazy just now just simply because the wind's so heavy okay well if you like subscribe god bless